Welcome to another segment of A Spirit of Debate. I'm Lauren Green, Chief Religion Correspondent for Fox News Channel. Does God use the motion of the planets to communicate with us, to announce things to come? Well, many people believe that an astronomical occurrence called four blood moons is a message from God. A blood moon is a full lunar eclipse, and four of them in a row is called a tetrad. When they've occurred on the Jewish High Holy Days, it's coincided with major historical events, like the Six-Day War in 1967. Four blood moons on the Jewish High Holy Days has happened only three times in the last 500 years. The next time it occurs is starting next spring on the Jewish Passover. Pastor Hagee has written a book called Four Blood Moons, Something is About to Change, and he joins me now. This is fascinating because I get a lot of books about end times prophecies and what's the Bible trying to say, and this one really fat, uh, um, fascinated me because it charts history of right. astronomical occurrences, the Jewish High Holy Days of Passover and the Feast of the Tabernacles, and these occurrences. And I want to go over just a couple of the things that have happened because it's only happened in three times. Three times in over 500 years. In 500 years. And this is confirmed by NASA. This is not something that a religious think tank put together. This is something that you can check on the internet. This is what NASA says has happened. And this is what they say is going to happen. This is, um, and we have a, a full screen up, and, the, and I, it's exactly what I did when I saw your book because I wanted to verify that these things had happened, and sure enough it was. That's why I wanted to have you on. Four blood moons um, have occurred in 1493-94, uh, fall of Spain, the Jews expelled um, from them, and Columbus discovers America, what the Bible calls it, the infant nation. Right. N 1949 to 1950, it follows Israel being declared a nation. State. Yes. And then, a, a nation state. And then, 1967-68, the Six-Day War. That's, those are the last three times yes. that a four blood moons have occurred. Right. And so the next time it occurs actually is starting next spring. Starts April the 15th, 2014, next spring, and it happens on Passover. The second blood moon next year will be October the 8th on the Feast of Tabernacles. And then in 2015, it will happen again on Passover. And then it will happen the last time, September the 15th, and that will be on the Feast of Tabernacles. The, the irony of what it takes to get the sun, the earth, and the moon in a perfect alignment to have a blood moon, and then for those blood moons to be on this exact date is something that just is uh, beyond coincidental. Uh, the Bible very clearly says, Joel, the second chapter, says the day of the Lord will be as when the sun refuses to shine, now, the significant thing is that between these four blood moons will be a total solar eclipse and the moon will be turned to blood. That is exactly repeated in Acts, the second chapter. It is repeated by Jesus Christ in the book of Luke, the 21st chapter, when he said, you will see the sun, signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. And when you see these signs, lift up your head, your redemption draweth nigh. So you're saying that this next four blood moons that's starting next spring, is this the end times, what we're looking for, or do, do you not know what is being communicated with this? Technically, prophetically, the end times began with the, feast of, with the uh, outpouring of Pentecost 2,000 years ago. We have been in the end times a long time, but when we are reaching that point in time when world history is about to change, we are entering that zone and it's going to change forever, it's going to change dramatically, and it's going to involve Israel because it has involved Israel in 1492, 1948, 1967. And each time it has gone from tragedy to triumph. 1492, as you said, the Jewish people were kicked out of Spain with the Edict of Expulsion by King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella. America was discovered and the Jewish people had a home until Israel became the state. In 1948-49, Israel was a state. The thing that preceded that was the Holocaust, a, a, a time of yeah. tears and tragedy. 1967 was the Six-Day War, and then Jerusalem became a part of the state. But what, do we know what it's going to happen? I mean, we get a lot of prophecy, a lot of end-time prophecies. Um, I get the books a lot. And 
but there's no telling what is actually going to happen. I mean, you could not have a pre uh, predicted a six-day war. You could not have predicted a lot of the things that happened after the Second World War with the, you know, w with the uh, partition of, for Israel. Is there any? Is there any way to predict actually what's going to happen? And it will happen after the last four blood moons, which would be in 2015. There is a sequence of prophetic events that the Bible says will happen, but it does not give a when. It just says when you see these signs like this, mm -hmm. re, you, re, lift up your heads and rejoice, your redemption draweth nigh, meaning that the end of this age is coming and the messianic age is going to appear. How long is that? No one knows. Well, it's a fascinating topic, and I urge people to not only you know check out your book, but also check out uh, what's on the internet because there's a lot of stuff about four blood moons that people can check out for themselves and see what they think. I mean, there are a lot of people who will just poo-poo any kind of end time prophecy. There are a lot of theologians that say that you can't predict what's going to happen. But the the fact is, is that this is an astronomical occurrence that did occur, that happened at this time and that the next one is going to start happening next spring. So I have researched this backwards and forwards, and the concept that these four blood moons happen on a high holiday four times in a row with a solar eclipse in the middle is beyond the null hypothesis of probability. This is something that the Bible, using the sun, the moon, and the stars as a communication system to humanity, says something is about to change and world history is going to change forever.